be honest, I've been uh, waiting for a long time to come to India. Uh, I can't believe I've never been here before. The people of Gujarat were, were amazing. The people, are, like I said, have welcomed me with open arms. To be honest, I've been uh, waiting for a long time to come to India. Uh, I can't believe I've never been here before, but this is my first time and one that I was really looking forward to. Um, obviously, my work with UNICEF began a long time ago when I was probably 17 years old with Manchester United in Thailand. And um, I then became global ambassador in 2015. Um, and a lot's happened since then, you know, different field trips around the world. Uh, um, and the field trips is what I enjoy most. This is the first field trip that I've been on uh, since COVID. So it was a really important one for many reasons. Um, obviously, where our focus is now uh, with UNICEF, we focus on obviously boys and girls, but our main focus is on girls at the moment. And that's what we're focused on on this trip. So. It's been an incredible experience so far. Uh, I was obviously in Gujarat, uh, which was uh, an incredible experience. And the people of Gujarat were, were amazing uh, to me. Um, but I visited many different things um, so far in two days. And the experience has been incredible. You know, obviously going to the Gujarat um, University, meeting young innovators um, and young kids that were 14 years old, 16 years old, 19 years old, all coming up with these incredible inventions that can make change. And, and that was an incredible thing to see for me, you know, a 14 year old young boy coming up with an invention that, um, that was all about reminding his grandparents to take their medication on time. And, and there's things like that that are, you know, gonna make a huge change. So. My experience so far has been incredible. I met some amazing young girls yesterday that were part of a program that obviously UNICEF uh, hugely support. Um, and to see the progression is pretty incredible, you know, but then there's still a lot more to be done. And that's part of my trip and one of the reasons why I'm here. And, uh, were you pleasantly surprised how recognizable David Beckham is in this part of the world? <laughs> um, I was slightly surprised. You know, I, I think I always am. Whenever I'm traveling around the world and I get recognized in places where I've never been um, before, um, it, it pleas you know, it's always a, a nice surprise. But people, like I said, have welcomed me with open arms. And, you know, like I said, I went to a, a care center yesterday for, for young, young children and young women. And... They didn't really know what football was. They didn't really know who I was. And I was able to um, speak to them on, on the level that, that was, was incredible. You know, to, to sit with these young girls and to see their confidence. But their confidence is coming from their teachers. Their confidence is coming from their parents. But not every child in India has that. We know the population of children here is bigger than anywhere in the world. 460 million children, one in every five, five children in the world, you know, uh, are in India. And we know when progression happens in India, the world notices. So that's why it's an important part for me. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.